Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play Wagon Wheel. Now, one of the interesting things about this song is that uh, all of my friends hate it. <laughs> People who play bluegrass and uh, old time uh, have no respect for Wagon Wheel whatsoever, which I think is a shame. I think it's an excellent song. Um, I think probably the main reason they don't like it is that it was a commercial hit and um, old time music should not ever be a commercial hit, but this was. The origins of this song are quite strange because it was started off by Bob Dylan, who um, in his Pat Garrett sessions recorded this as a, an unfinished song. Uh, I think maybe with a bit of a chorus and a bit of melody, but really not much work put into it at all. And then it was uh, rediscovered uh, on, the, um, on a bootleg album by the Old Crow Medicine Show, who decided they would finish it off and um, put what I think is an excellent set of words to it, and um, they recorded it. It became their hit and their signature song. Um, it was made uh, a bigger hit later on by Darius Rucker and uh, the fiddle part on that is really good, I think that's well worth listening to. Um, both of those versions are in the key of A but a lot of people seem to do it in G and uh, indeed I do it in G but in fact what I've done here today is to do both G and A and a key change from one to the other, uh, although <laughs> extremely corny, is a really good idea, it really works with this song. So I'm going to show you the intro, um, some stuff you can do for backing and some bits of uh, solo that you can do, including reference to the Darius Rucker version in particular. So let's start off with the intro. And uh, if you're going to play this song, I think you should uh, learn the intro properly or something close to it. So uh, we've got um, um, a kick-off, one, two, three... <coughs> It sounds like nothing very much like that, but as soon as you put some open string drones on, then it starts to sound good. I noticed that this has got a very distinct swing to it, so it's not... Um not even quavers, it's definitely swung quavers. When we get into the um, first verse, then you want to drop down to um, long notes or chords or chops or something like that. And uh, I'll put on the backing and I'll show you some two note um, double stops that you can do. chord there's um, probably seven or eight different possibilities for double notes um, either with two fingers or one finger and an open string drone and you just want to try and find moving lines like I did that kind of thing for the first line uh, you can spice that up by shuffling stuff like this When it comes to the chorus, again you want to do something similar but different. So don't do the same in the verse as in the chorus, just find a bit of variety there. And then you'll get a solo. And um, in all of the versions of the solo that I've heard, people usually do variations around the melody. So don't go crazy on it, uh, do something that's similar to the melody. So um, 
Here's an example of the um, uh, something similar to the intro, but we're going to go up an octave, build it around there. So it's. So let's do the intro and the double stops and that high solo. example of how to expand your double stop backing into a solo just by starting off each chord with a double stop and then four notes or uh, something similar um, to take you into the next chord and I think that's a good um, general rule for this kind of solo where you're not going to move much away from the melody. Now when it comes to uh, if you're going to do a key change then um, you just cut right in. In fact you can do that over, over the G chord if you want uh, and that would be interesting. Uh, or ideally uh, the band will stop for half a bar whilst you do the um, this intro. So I'll show you now the, the Darius Rucker, um, his fiddler, who I don't know who he was but he's a good fiddler. Uh, this is the, what he did as the intro. Now we'll add the open A and uh, D and E drones. And then we move into the backing, um, and this time I'll give it you with the chords. I'm just going to go out from G and into the A and I'll give you the, first of all, that intro and then the some chords. Now I've 
personally would never learn a solo like that. Uh, I would always improvise it um, because I can, because I enjoy it. But uh, if, if you want to learn that, then by all means do. Um, but I would say learn the melody, learn the basic melody, and then learn to work around that so that you can make it fresh and different every time. That's the approach I would take. So I hope you enjoyed Wagon Wheel. I hope my bluegrass and old-timey friends will forgive me for the uh, terrible crime that I committed. <laughs> And um, I'll see you in the next one.